Here is a box plot. We read the minimum value from the first line, the maximum value from the last line. The median, or Q2, is found at the line inside the box. The first quartile is the start of the box. The third quartile is found at the end of the box. From this, we find the range, which equals the maximum minus the minimum, and also the interquartile range, which equals Q3 minus Q1. We can use these measurements to compare box plots. The median tells us an average. The range tells us the spread of data, while the interquartile range tells us the spread of the middle 50% of the data. For example, these two box plots compare the test results out of 30 in two classes. So which class did better on average? To compare averages, we use the median. Class 1 has a median of 19. Class 2 has a median of 25. Class 2 has a higher median, so it has a higher average. Class 2 did better on average. Which class has a larger spread of results? We first compare the ranges. Class 1 has a maximum of 23 and a minimum of 15. 23 minus 15 equals 8. Class 1 has a range of 8. Class 2 has a maximum of 30 and a minimum of 10. 30 minus 10 equals 20. Class 2 has a range of 20. Therefore, based on the entire data set, class 2 is more spread. We will also look at the interquartile range. Class 1 has a Q3 of 21 and a Q1 of 17. 21 minus 17 equals 4. The interquartile range is 4. Class 2 has a Q3 of 27 and a Q1 of 20. Class 2 has an interquartile range of 7, therefore the spread of the middle 50% is larger in Class 2. Overall, Class 2 has the larger spread. These two box plots compare the number of goals scored by players in two different football teams. Which team had the player who scored the most goals? We need to see the maximums in each team. In Team 1, the maximum is 15. In Team 2, the maximum is 13. Team 1 has someone who scored 15 goals, so Team 1 had the player with the most goals. Which team had the player who scored the least? We compare the minimums. Team 1 has a minimum of 8. Team 2 has a minimum of 4. Therefore, Team 2 had the player with the least goals. Which team had the greatest spread? Spread is measured with both the range and the interquartile range. Team 1 has a maximum of 15 and a minimum of 8. 15 minus 8 equals 7. Team 2 has a maximum of 13 and a minimum of 4. 13 minus 4 equals 9. Now we find the interquartile range. Team 1 has a Q3 of 14 and a Q1 of 10. 14 minus 10 equals 4. Team 2 has a Q3 of 11 and a Q1 of 6. 11 minus 6 equals 5. Team 2 has a larger range and interquartile range. Team 2 had the greatest spread. 
these two box plots compare the examination results of students in two different schools. Which school had the least spread results? School 1 has a maximum of 95, a minimum of 65 and therefore a range of 30. School 2 has a maximum of 80, a minimum of 55, therefore a range of 25. School 1 has a Q3 of 90, Q1 of 75, therefore the interquartile range equals 15. School 2 has a Q3 of 75, Q1 of 65, and so an interquartile range of 10. Therefore, school 2 has the least spread results as the range and interquartile range are lower. Which school had the more consistent results? If something is more consistent, it is less spread. We choose the school with the lower range and interquartile range. School 2 had the more consistent results. These two box plots compare the number of deliveries made each day by two different drivers in one month. Which driver delivered more parcels on average? We compare medians to compare averages. Driver 1 has a median of 9. Driver 2 has a median of 10. Driver 2 delivered more parcels on average. Which driver delivered the least parcels in one day? We compare the minimums. Driver 1 has a minimum of 2 and driver 2 has a minimum of 4. Therefore, driver 1 delivered the least parcels in one day. Which driver was more consistent with the number of parcels delivered each day? We look for the driver with the lowest spread, that is, the lowest range and interquartile range. Driver 1 has a maximum of 11, minimum of 2 and therefore a range of 9. Driver 2 has a maximum of 13, a minimum of 4 and so a range of 9. Driver 1 has a Q3 of 10. Q1 of 6, and so an interquartile range of 4. Driver 2 has a Q3 of 12, Q1 of 8, and an interquartile range of 4. We can see that the range and interquartile range are the same for both drivers. In fact, the box plots are identical, except driver 2's box plot is simply higher up. Both drivers were equally consistent. Visit mathsathome.com for further videos and practice.